This video is going to show you some of the new multi-point cable cam features built into the 3D Robotics Solo app 2.0. This demonstration is for Android. Here we have the application running and we're going to choose the smart shots and then select cable cam. Uh, cable cam looks like it did before except you fly to your first position and press A to add a point. But what is new is you can fly to another position now and choose A again to select another point. Each time you press A, you're just adding another point on your multi-point cable cam. Adding all the points in your mission, press B to end the mission. This mission is going to actually have four points in our multi-point cam. That includes the ending point. Okay, there is, goes our second point in this mission. And we're going to fly out here for a little bit. And I'm going to try to zoom in on that motorhome down the bottom there and we'll put in the third point on this mission and then fly out past that motorhome and put in the fourth point which is actually going to be the end point of this multi-cam smart shot. At the end of our mission, I'm going to press B to end it, which adds the fourth point in my setting that automatically starts the recording, too, of the camera. Uh, we're going to go look at the options real quick. Uh, you can see we have a free look, time lapse, and then, then the time of the cable. This one is about 1 minutes and 12 seconds long. We're going to come back to those options in a few minutes. So let's fly that mission real quick. And it's going backwards, starting from the point, uh, ending point, which is B, and going to stop or actually fly through the uh, intermediate uh, points along this multi-point cable cam, which you can see is dots there on the line while it's flying our little mission here. As we come up to the next point, the camera starts uh, yawing or panning to get into the shots that we had predefined when we set up this multi-point. And it's flying back to the home or the very first point of our multi-point. And here we are at the very beginning of our multi-point uh, smart shot. Okay, I'm going to tap done to end this cable cam. And then we're going to move the solo to another location to bring in the saved uh, smart shot. All of your smart shots and cable cam are automatically saved. You don't have to save them. They're saved automatically. Here we are in a different location. And I select cable cam. Down at the bottom, notice you have saved shots. And here's the different saved shots that I have for the multi-cable cam. Uh, we're looking at the most recent, and I'm going to take the top left one, which is our most recent uh, multi-point, and you can see the four points that we had. And notice that the solo is not anywhere near the beginning. So we've got to fly down and get into that blue circle to start the cable. Uh, once you get into that blue circle, it's also going to ask and check your altitude. Uh, once we get into that blue circle here, notice I'm three feet too low, so I've got to climb up three more feet. So I climb up, and once I get in there, it's ready. We can tap on load the cable. So this previously saved cable cam is now loaded and it's starting to record, waiting for me to start the mission. We're going to go look at some of the options and test some of the options first. Let's check on the time lapse option and change the, uh, the time that our mission. Notice we can change it from here from 38 seconds, I'm done up to 20 minutes. Um, right now we're going to try to set it somewhere around 3 minutes there and I'm moving it that uh, pointer back and forth to get it 3 minutes as close as I can. And we'll click done and we start the mission. It's going to go a little slower than it did before because originally by default it was about a minute and 13 seconds whereas now we have it set for 3 minutes and 4 seconds. I didn't want to do 20 minutes. That would have been a pretty close, slow time lapse shot f for this demonstration. You can see here we're doing a really slow crawl time lapse of this multi-point shot uh, which in some cases you may want a real slow time lapse shot of your multi-point uh, camera. Okay, here I stopped the shot, 
and I'm taking it to go back to the home start point, I'm going to use the right stick on my controller and make it go back at full speed back to point A or to the start point. And then we're going to go look at the options again. We're going to turn off the time lapse. And this time we're going to take a look at the option of free look. I love the free look option. It gives us a lot of flexibility using our camera. Now that free look is turned on, we're going to start our multi-point cable cam and it starts flying our mission. However, the difference is we now have control of the camera with our left stick on the controller. We can control the yaw or the pan, which I'm doing now with the left stick on the controller. And we can also control the tilt with the left stick of the camera by pushing forward or backwards on that left stick. Here I'm demonstrating I'm going straight down. Free look gives us a lot of flexibility to control the camera while Solo is taking care of the flight path and doing the flying by itself. We can concentrate on trying to get that perfect shot with the camera. Okay, I'm going to speed things up here a little bit. But we're going to control the camera uh, yaw or the pan, and we're going to go ahead and do a couple of 360s while the solo again is flying its flight path. Okay, we're back to normal speed, and I challenged myself, and I tried to keep this RV into the center of my frame while the solo is flying overhead. This was the first time I've ever tried it, and that's a definitely a challenge. That's going to take a little practice. But the point is, I had complete control of the camera, again using the left stick on the controller to control the, the pan and the tilt to try to keep my subject in the center of the shot. Okay, let's turn off free look. So we're back in the standard uh, cable cam settings. And of course, the solo turns itself around to what was preset in that cable cam. And we're going to come back to, to the start. Uh, this time I'm going to use the right stick. And you can go forward or back or left and right with your right stick to speed it up at full uh, speed uh, that you have your solo set for to return back. We're going to speed this up and I'm going to go full speed, which I think I have mine, on, mine set for medium speed, which is about 20 some miles an hour as we get, go back to the entire cable cam at full speed since I'm controlling it with the right stick this time. Basically we're overriding the default speed in this case of a minute and 48 seconds but coming back as fast as we can to get back to our starting point but we're still following the path of the cable cam. I think with the addition of the multi-point cable cam 3D Robotics has, has taken the solo to a whole nother level that's about it. You guys have fun flying and safe flying. Take care.